Hello, my name is Gal Sasson. I'm very happy to introduce my new book on the astrology of 2023, Traversing the Bridge, the Movement of the People. It's going to be quite a lot of changes in the year ahead, hence the thickness of the book. We have a lot of planets changing signs. That means like we're stripping from old clothes and bringing up new ones. We're having a, a like the universe is going through a remake or a rebranding in a sense, reinvention. We have Pluto, the Lord of Transformation, moving from Capricorn to Aquarius. Last time this happened was 250 years ago during the French Revolution, when the American Constitution was written, during the uh, age of uh, the Industrial Revolution. There are so many new ideas, so many uh, changes that was going on. Same thing is happening to us right now. Uh, also Saturn that was in Capricorn and Aquarius for the last few years. Saturn is the ruler of Capricorn and Aquarius. And from 2020, the beginning of the pandemic, all the way up until March 9 of 2023, Saturn was in Aquarius. And now it's going to move into Pisces. That is a time where we're going to all have to deal with our addictions on a personal level, as well on a social and global level. You see it already happening to Europe, having to uh, basically break away of detox from Russian oil. We're going to feel it all over the planet. And again, all of these Saturn in a Pisces phenomena have to do a lot with uh, cutting away from any kind of dependency and codependency, whether it's physical, emotional, intellectual, or even uh, spiritual. Jupiter is moving from one sign to the other. Jupiter moves every year to a sign. So we're going to start the year with Jupiter in Aries, enhancing the Aries inside of us, making us better leaders, initiators, a lot of movement, a lot of energy. Then it's going to move in the middle of May into Taurus for a whole year, which could actually help financially. It could help you tap into your talents. It can really help you with your self-worth and defining your values. We also have the North Node, which always points at where the eclipses are moving in July after being in Taurus since the end of 2021. From July 2023, it's going to move into Aries. The first part of the year is going to be in Taurus, quickening things that have to do with Taurus, which again is finance, money, our uh, talents, our self-worth. And it's going to move into Aries, allowing us to get more vitality towards the middle end of the year. So as you can see, there is definitely a lot of movement. And the way the book is designed is first of all to give you practical days the first part which i call special guest stars is day by day definition of what is going on so you can find yourself in the context of the universe feel part of it the other part of it the second part will be more about trends that are happening how to deal with the eclipses mercury retrograde venus retrograde uh, we have mars retrograde at the beginning of the year this whole year starts with Mars and Mercury retrograde. I mean, come on, it's a pretty intense year. And then it ends with a Mercury retrograde. So the whole year is basically located between or sandwiched between retrogrades. We also have the third part of the fourth part of the book, which is a detailed explanation month to month for each one of the signs. So you know how to plan your year ahead. That's why I call this book the GPS of your soul. It allows you to understand how to navigate the stars. So I wish you an amazing year uh, full of happiness, of magic, of abundance and health. And I will see you somewhere, if not in dream time, maybe in one of my workshops. Thanks a lot and have a wonderful 2023. And by the way, in the book, there's going to be a whole section about New Year resolution, when to actually start it in order to be successful and what kind of a New Year resolution can be more successful in 2023. Thanks a lot and I'll see you around.